How's it? Any cowboy I'm going to on Sunday, October 31st, as we get this video to you every year on this time. Got my Atlanta shirt on today as the Bravos take a 3-1 to one lead. Is it going to happen? Are the Braves going to actually, are Atlanta fans actually going to get a world championship? We'll see as, a, as someone who is from Alabama and, and lives in Alabama and who has rooted for uh, Alabama as a football team, college football team, but uh, lifetime uh, Atlanta sports fan, right? Braves and Falcons and Hawks and even the Thrashers when they were back here and uh, you know, Atlanta United and, and the list goes on. So, um, you know, people who are Braves fans understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> And uh, being a Falcons fan, and, and you see, the, where's the Super Bowl ticket? There it is. The Super Bowl ticket right over there. That was at the 50-yard line, and uh, the Falcons ended up losing uh, to the uh, to the Patriots 28-3. I was in Houston for that game. A crazy game. So uh, is it just a tease? Will the Astros come back? I don't know. We'll see. But uh, our four unit is on the baseball play today. We'll see what happens. But uh, uh, hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is DocSports.com. Uh, DocSports has been around 51 years. Uh and uh, Indian Cowboy and the uh, algorithms have been around for 17 years. And uh, we give our best selections over at DocSports.com. Those are our premium selections. Our next best selections are our YouTube premium selections, which we typically do every day. And uh, sometimes we miss the video on Saturday because I play a lot of uh, competitive tennis. But um, we make it up on Sunday with extra selections. So just like today's video. I uh, didn't do a video yesterday, but um, we're back today. And we'll make it up with some extra thoughts for you on today's video. What do I need to tell you here? Great 2-0 college football Saturday yesterday. We took Mississippi State, and uh, they ended up winning uh, outright. And we also took uh, Miami and Pittsburgh over in college football. So 2-0 college football day plus 600. Um, we have six NFL plays today, um, a seven-unit and a six-unit both go off today. We have won six of seven weeks in the NFL. There's only been seven weeks. We've won six of them in the NFL. Hopefully we'll make it seven of eight winning weeks. Great 4-0 NBA run right now. We took the Detroit Pistons yesterday for their first win. Uh, we typically take a lot of different um, eclectic selections, um, but just based on what our models say. But um, plus 1,600 in NBA now uh, over the last four days. Uh, I do believe we'll win today, and I think we'll get to 5-0 and plus 2,000. We've hit as many as 22 in a row in college basketball. We've hit as many as 17 free picks in a row. Uh, we've also missed as many as 10 free picks in a row. Uh, so it's just kind of a hit or miss thing. You just kind of work hard every day and see what happens. So... Uh, looking forward to our six football plays today. Looks like it'll be a big week, maybe. Uh, looking forward to our basketball play today. Our four-unit college basketball starts in seven days. It's one of our favorite sports. Join us for the college basketball season. Hockey just cannot miss right now. We're on a plus 8,000 run. Um, you know, we're plus 1,300 almost on the hockey season. We went 86 and 66 last year with our one play of the day for plus 43.65. So right where we need to be and uh, for a good ROI. So all right, man, let's get to your free play winner today, and uh, it is going to be in the NFL. I like the over today uh, between the Redskins hooking up against Denver. I think both these offenses bust out today. Uh, I know not a lot of people like either team, but Washington only put up 10 to 13 points in the last two games. They faced a very good Cleveland defense, um, and uh, Denver only put up 14 points as well. Now they get to face Washington, who's given up 40, 30, 33, 31, and 24 points over the last five games. Um, given the fact that Denver has been, you know, had to face a really good Cleveland defense, uh, and given the fact that uh, Washington is likely to be an active underdog here, I wouldn't be surprised if this game goes over the 44 and a half today between Washington and Denver. I do think Washington shows up today. Um, I think the uh, Washington's defense is a little porous, and I think Denver finally busts out today, especially in front of their home fans. And I like the over 44 and a half between Washington and Denver for your free play today. Some additional leans for you today. I want you to keep an eye on the Miami Dolphins, Buffalo Bills over today. I think Miami can be an active dog today. Tua wants to stay in Miami. I think the Tua Waddle, Tua to Waddle combination, Alabama connection is doing well. I don't see them winning, but I can see them hanging around here against Buffalo. Uh, to show the Dolphins brass that they have it right and that these people belong um, in Miami uh, from the players to the coaches. The Bills are off of a loss too, so I don't want to go against the Bills. Um, so I think they'll score their fair share of points. Um, this, is a, this is a division game. Miami didn't score a point last time against this team. Uh, I think Miami can be a decent dog. I think they'll push this game over the total. Miami has a lot to play for, actually. Even, not in the win column, but in the pride column with people wanting to save their jobs column and not be traded column. Looks like Deshaun Watson's going to remain in Houston as well, which is interesting. Um, Carolina was willing to give up Christian McCaffrey for him, but Houston didn't bite. So 
That's interesting. Uh, but lean on the over between Miami and Buffalo today. The Bengals and the Jets. I like the Jets today. Nobody likes the Jets today, but of course, you know we'll like them because we like ugly dogs. Um, the Bengals have Browns on deck. Uh, I don't know how much they'll care about this game. Um, 80 points in the last two games for the Bengals as well. How do you get up for the Jets after you just beat your big brother, Baltimore, and just dumped them 41-17? to So you just beat your biggest rival, arguably, in your division, Baltimore, 41-17, to the person that's been winning the division all the time every year. And then, um, and then you turn around and you face the Jets, and then you have the Browns on deck. I don't see how the Bengals get up for this game. They probably win, and they might even cover. But the models say the Jets should do well. These are the type of games the Jets should do well. They come off one of the biggest losses in their franchise history, losing to the Patriots in an ugly way. I think the Patriots only punted the ball once in that game. Uh, Patriots put up over 50 points. Like the Jets, it's ugly. you got to hold your nose, but like the Jets today. Uh, YouTube Premium, uh, it'll be between the Cowboys and the Vikings, Blazers and the Hornets today. Uh, let me um, yeah, let me give you one more selection uh, since we missed yesterday's video. Um, I do like the Jazz and the Bucks under today. I think it's a decent public fade. Giannis, Chris Middleton, and George Hill, uh, and Grayson Allen all put up basically 30 minutes last game. And um, Conley's back for the Jazz, which means he'll handle the ball well, which eliminates turnovers for them. Maybe a slower pace, too. This Jazz team just lost to the Bulls as well. I think they'll be motivated. I actually think the Jazz will win this game. They've beaten the uh, Bucks back-to-back game. But I'd, I'd rather take the under, I think, just because the Bucks also come off back-to-back -back losses as well. I think it'll be a playoff-type, atmosphere-type game. Um, the Bucks are also 3-3. Three and three. They don't want to go under 500, I think. But um, definitely a championship hangover. But I like the under between the Jazz and the Bucks today. Jazz off a loss. They typically play better defense. Bucks off a loss. Typically play better defense. Um... Uh, Conley back as well. I like the under there as well. There you go. That's your guys' thoughts today. Hope you guys are doing great. And I will see you back here tomorrow. And YouTube Premium, I'll see you in just a few minutes talking to you about the Vikings game um, and Cowboys. And also talk to you about the Blazers' Hornets game. Indian Cowboy, working hard for you every single day. Please take a moment to like and subscribe.